All right, we're back live on the ESR. I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful new chat over here. Uh, once again, big shout out to all the engineers that have been working on that. But it's time to keep talking Advanced Warfare. We have three of the biggest YouTubers here from the Call of Duty scene. Chaos Silencer, Optic Midnight, as well as Cross, our sniper expert. So guys, we've talked about movement. We've talked about uh, exo abilities. We've talked about weapons. Now it's time to talk about perks. And uh, I was really impressed to see pick 13. They're going back to what we saw with Black Ops 2 with the pick 10 system. A little bit of an iteration here now to include score streaks. Jimmy, I know you've gone really uh, kind of in-depth in your YouTube videos. Break down some of the perks that we're going to see. It seems once again we have perks 1 through 3 as well as some uh, details like exo abilities and uh, grenades and whatnot. So, I mean, with the pick 13, it's, it is. It's the pick 10 made into the 13. It feels a lot like Black Ops 2. It's really good. You have the wild cards and everything like that. And actually now, I just want to put this in there, you can use a wild card to get a fourth kill or score streak. So you can have four score streaks. Just want to say that. But perk-wise, um, I mean, a lot of the regulars are back. Like, we've got Lightweight, um, Flak Jacket's back. And then there's some that have different Danger names. Close. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Um, there's some that have different names, but they're they're familiar to us in the past. But then there's some that, that are new. So the big one everybody wants to know about from my video is Danger Close. And I really, I don't have an answer for you on why it's there. I, I did ask and they said, and if you don't know, Danger Close is increased explosive and score street damage. Um, the developers told me that the game is fast enough that it kind of counteracts it. Um, I'll let you guys determine what you want once you play it and, and see what you think, but it is in there. Overcharged is one that's connected to your XO ability and it actually extends the battery life and shocks enemies if you do a boost slam. If you didn't know, you can do boost slams from the air in Advanced Warfare. So the overcharged one's pretty cool and those XO abilities, the, the small lifespan that they have, if you want to to extend those a little bit, you can you can use that. Flag jacket's back, we, we've, we're all familiar with that. Um, another new one is peripherals. It increases your mini-map coverage and it takes enemies out without displaying death icons. So you have a little bit of stealthiness. You, you can mix that with blind eye and cold-blooded, which is one of those that people, well, you can't actually. They put all three of those in the same perk class. So you're not gonna be able to stack all those to be completely invisible. Fast Hands is back. First time ever we have a perk called Gung Ho. Gung Ho, with, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fire, you can fire while you're sprinting and sliding, which uh, has never happened with- Did, did anyone with try the Gung Ho out? I did. And, and thoughts did. on that? Did you get any kills while sliding? Yeah, well, I, did, I, I got kills while, while sprinting and it just, it, it really caters into that this game wants to feed you and just keep you running. It really does. And if you're a rusher and you're using a, an SMG speed class or something and you have this on there, the the amount of chain kills that if you're good at this game and, and you can maneuver around the map, it's around the map, it's gonna be fun. I mean, it's gonna be really cool and entertaining. That was and, one when I was I was thinking about the competitive side, I was thinking, you know, yeah. how many players right now in Ghost are pre-firing with the hip fire and then go and aim down sights once they see someone? I'm like, yep. this gung-ho might really feed into their play style, but what, what were some of the other perks that you found yourself using, Jimmy? Um, I use toughness almost every time. I use scavenger a couple times. Um, uh, the blast suppressor, I used that once or twice. It wasn't, I didn't I didn't really keep it on there. Hardwired, hardwired's actually a really cool one because it, it I can say this because it's on here. Immune to system hack, EMPs, stun grenades, and scramblers, but it's also makes you immune to nano swarms. Now, what are nano swarms? Who knows? Um, but it is it is on the hardwired thing. Um, you guys can can speculate all you want. And then I used hardline a bunch, which is a fan favorite for a lot of people. I used it because I was trying to get some footage of these score streaks. And when you're adding attachments to these score streaks and you're making your UAV instead of 400 points, 700 points because you want it to do extra stuff for you, that hard line can really come in handy when you're trying to get those those boosted up score streaks that you've kind of crafted yourself with the attachments now on score streaks. Let's take that conversation there now, Midnight. Uh, score streaks, part of our pick 13 now. Talk me through kind of the, the upgrade system. Does it take extra uh, spots there in your pick 13 or how does this score streak integration work? Yeah, the I believe the upgrade does take one point, if I'm not mistaken, to upgrade it or 
I believe it does. Uh, so then if you if you want to upgrade your UAV, like Jimmy said, that's going to cost more kills to get that upgraded version. They have like like the sentry gun. You could get the regular sentry gun or you could get one that fires rockets if you just simply upgrade it. Um, and that kind of it makes it interesting. It, may, it gives you something a little bit extra to go for because everyone, you know, you all know what a sentry gun is and, and how to get it, what it does but now you can actually upgrade it yourself. And if you wanna be that guy who gets those super upgraded score streaks and just demolishes everybody, then you can now do that. Um, one thing I also really like, people keep asking me like, what happened to Specialist, is it back? It's not, uh, but since the score streaks are now included with every individual class that you're making, you could decide, okay, well, I don't want any score streaks, or maybe you only want a UAV or something like that. You can then allocate those extra points you have to maybe you can use some greed and you know have two perks in one slot or have just extra stuff going on for you in that way. Cross, what was your loadout of choice, my friend? What perks were you going with? Um, were you going with score streaks or not? Score streaks on a sniper are kind of hard. Uh, if you if you want to depend on them, you can. I like using UAVs because if we play objective games like Domination, War, whatever, um, you can help out your team even if you die. You know, obviously you have support on, so um, that can help you out a bit. Did you say perk loadout too? Yeah, perks. What, what were perks, some of the, the keys you were going to as a sniper? For me, um, I like hiding from the radar as much as I can, but being a sniper, it's kind of redundant because there's no silencers in this game, uh -huh. or, or uh, at least this bolt action. But I would use something like uh, Fast Hands, which allows you to reload quicker. Um, it allows you to use your exo abilities and your launcher faster. Um, so if you want to switch weapons or something like that, you can do that. Um, and also, you know, switching your pistol is kind of important. But uh, low profile, uh, Fast Hands, and I do believe my third perk was Blast Suppressor. Just staying away from anything on the radar helps you quite a bit. Um, it was either that or Toughness, because Toughness being a sniper, you're going to be aggressive if you want to. And getting in a gunfight, if you flinch or whatever, you know, it kind of helps you. But at the same time with this, I feel that you die fast enough. It doesn't matter. You're going to die anyway. So probably something more effective like hiding off the map. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys kind of, uh, as you said, you die faster in this game. What would you say what? Um, the the death speeds or I guess the, the speed Black at which you can two. kill someone? Yeah, close really, really close to Black Ops 2. Ops. All right. Jimmy, you agree with that as well? Absolutely, Black Ops 2. Definitely, if you had to pick, say, Ghost or Black Ops 2, it's way more Black Ops 2, nothing like Ghost. I love it. Uh, after yeah. playing Black Ops 2 the last two nights, I really miss those gunfights where you both tag each other up with a few bullets and then you get rewarded for the headshot. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about um, the new game. It's coming out. We're going to be seeing all kinds of new perks, all kinds of new loadouts. If you guys had any one suggestion, what should people focus on? Should they put their focus on learning the movement right away? Should they focus on the weapons, score streaks? Is it about building a class? What did you think was the most important aspect when looking for success? Definitely the movement. Uh, you're gonna wanna learn, uh, you know, because when you hit down on your left stick, it's not just a sprint anymore. That's how you're getting out of the way. That's how you're maneuvering your, your player in such quick ways. You need to learn how to shoot while doing that, while aiming while doing that. Check out your surroundings while you're moving very quickly and looking for those quick moving targets. So I'd say, yeah, that was, once I started getting that down, I started playing a lot better, you know, just right off the rip. I've been playing Call of Duty for so long that I thought I'd pick it up a lot quicker, but it even took me a little bit to get used to the movement. So that the rest of the stuff you can build around that basis the other two guys agree movement most important aspect of the new game i think i honestly think that's probably part of it just being a, uh, familiar with it and learning um how to move because if you don't know that which is one of such a fundamental part of the game now everyone has an exo if you're going to get outplayed you know that's your fault because you obviously don't know how to move and you didn't learn it well enough so i think it's going to be a big part um when you first get into the game people are going to be passing ledges, you know, making small mistakes, but um, definitely something that you'll figure out and pick up pretty quick, to be honest. Jimmy, what are we expecting most of your content in Advanced Warfare to be about? Well, I mean, the normal stuff covering um, just everything that comes out, I'm going to be covering like supply drops and stuff like that. It's going to be really cool to see what kind of stuff we get out of there. Um, I bring back other other series for when uh, a Call of Duty is fresh, but the, the thing I'm most excited for is I have on my channel uh, a custom class setup, and we don't just stick with 
okay, what's the best rushing class or what's the best hard point? We take it to the movies and to everything else. We'll, we'll have a James Bond class set up or a Master Chief class set up. <laughs> and this pick 13 with these exosuits and all the customization and all the options I have, I've got, a, I've got a list already on my computer. It's gonna, we're just gonna blow it out. It's gonna be a lot of fun to do custom class setups. Can't wait to see it. Guys, I've held you for over an hour, so I'm gonna let you go soon, but I know my Twitter feed would kill me if I didn't ask this question. No dead silence in the game. Early that, thoughts on this. That. That's big. There, there is no dead silence in the game. No dead um, silence, right is there now. anything like it? As of, as of right now, there's nothing, no well, crap. No. Uh, what was his name? Nate Shot tweeted out how it was crucial, and uh, Condry tweeted him back with a really kind Con of- Condry uh, commented back about like, hey, maybe we'll talk on, you know, the third. Well, no, he said, we'll talk on November 3rd, which to me, the, I read between the lines, and to me, it seemed like, yeah, we know, we haven't showed you everything. That's what I that, get that, at. That's kind of what I'm getting at too, but I would also like to see competitive gameplay without it, just to see. Yep. Um, because obviously you would have to have, people would have to be on point with their shots or you'd have people that are just sit back and wait for other people to make mistakes too, a little These bit more. These dudes camping. are heavy though. They, everybody, uh, anybody that's yeah. played this game, when you're running, it's like. But I, I think it's heavy. just gonna change it so much though. Um, even with the XO, like how, how that's gonna help too. And even if you have dead silence, is it really gonna matter? Um, you know, bounce in the air with the XO in a sense. It's like you're gonna know where they're out on the radar probably unless they're running a perk. To hide it. Yeah. SD has been a, a lot staple. Of noise when you run a lot. Yeah. SD yeah. has been a staple. I know that's where a lot of people love, uh, that's kind of where on I our started, Twitter feed are talking it. about. So we'll see what happens with that. No dead silence currently in the game. Not going to be an issue for any of the respawn game modes, at least in my opinion. Uh, we'll see how it affects search and destroy. But guys, I want to thank you all for coming on. Before we let you go, uh, got to give you an opportunity to plug your YouTube channel. Let's start with you, Cross. Where can we catch your gameplay? Um, YouTube.com slash Northern L Studios. It's primarily sniping and just overall montage content. Um, some news information and just up-to-date uh, basis with the game. All right. And uh, Midnight, where can we catch you? Of course, you're streaming live on MLG.TV, but where's your YouTube channel? You catch me on MLG.TV slash Midnight or on my YouTube channel, Threat Level Midnight. Uh, you can find it in my Twitter bio, which is at Optic Midnight, or just search Optic Midnight on YouTube. I'll be the first thing you see. And where can I catch my James Bond class, Mr. Silencer? Uh, youtube.com slash chaos silence or you could search you could usually once you type in chaos in the youtube thing i'll probably pop up and if you type up easter egg you'll find me as well love it appreciate it so much guys coming on here for over an hour to talk advanced warfare i know all of us are so excited for november uh, make sure you follow them on twitter as well that is going to do it for our advanced warfare section of the show i still have a top five coming at the end of the show the top five things we're most, most excited about for advanced warfare but coming up after this commercial break we're going to take a look at what went down this weekend of course we had a huge 5k online tournament as well as some big matches in the mlg cod league all that's coming up when we return